What this ant does is that it swarms uh, and pretty much eats all of the animals, the small insects, the small snails, lizards, geckos, things like that, and pretty much makes uh, the forest a wasteland. It's just devastating. It just devastates. UOG professor of entomology, Dr. Ross Miller, is talking about the little fire ant, or Wasmania aeropunctata. It's a tiny yellow-brown ant that can appear reddish in certain light that comes from Central and South America. It was found in the Primo Hardfill site up in Jigo by the coconut rhinoceros beetle eradication team. Uh, for larger animals like birds, like the cocoa bird that they're trying to reintroduce, it would probably kill the chicks and then har uh, harass the adults uh, so that they wouldn't be able to nest. So it's a, it's a very, very serious pest. So serious that it has already caused ecological devastation in Hawaii, New Caledonia, and Australia. In fact, the Australian government has spent over $12 million in attempts to eradicate it. It may be small in size, but its sting packs a powerful punch. They haven't been known to kill humans, but they do sting en masse, literally swarming their victims, causing a persistent, intense itching and a rash. It makes it so you, you don't want to go into the forest and do your normal activities or pick fruit. In fact, PNC News went to the Primo's Hardfill site in Jigo. We found the jungles surrounding the Hardfill literally teeming with ants. Just as Dr. Miller said, we found the ants on the undersides of leaves, on the ground, crawling up trees, and just about everywhere. Dr. Miller says they eat just about any living thing they can in their path. And right now, agricultural officials are trying to determine how widespread the little fire ant is. If you're out picking papayas or something like that and you notice that you're being stung by an almost invisibly small ant, uh, please let us know. Uh, we'll want to get your name, your phone number, how to contact you, find out where exactly this was at, and then get specimens of those ants so that we can determine if it really is this uh, little fire ant or not.